last word is an intense drink that is surprisingly refreshing, has a ton of complexity to it, and has perfect balance as well. Now, I got to admit, the first time that I saw the recipe for the last word, I didn't think it was going to work. Um, you have four really intense ingredients on their own that you're going to combine and hopefully turn out to be a good drink. So the four ingredients that we're going to be using are gin, green chartreuse, which is one of my favorite ingredients on the entire planet, uh, lime juice, and maraschino liqueur. Now, to give you a little bit of context, maraschino is so intense that typically when we use it in a cocktail, it's about a quarter of an ounce to a bar spoon, and even then, it tends to dominate the flavor profile in drinks. In this particular drink, we're going to be using three quarters of an ounce, so I thought it's only going to taste like maraschino liqueur, but when I finally tried it, I was so wrong, it was so delicious, and this still remains one of the, my favorite cocktails of all time. Now, unlike many of the drinks that we've talked about up to this point, the history of the last word is very well documented. It started in the Detroit Athletic Club in the years before Prohibition, and it was made pretty popular throughout the country um, by a traveling vaudeville actor. Now, vaudeville was kind of like the stand-up comedians of their day, from my understanding. Now, from there, it started to kind of fade into obscurity after World War II, but luckily, Ted Saucier recorded the uh, recipe in his 1952 book, Bottoms Up. Now, it kind of remained dormant for a long time until 2004, part of this cocktail renaissance that we're seeing, um, Murray Stinson kind of resurrected it, added to his menu, and it started to become very popular. And it started to spread through to both coasts, uh, found a base at uh, the Peju Club, and from there, it has become a staple for many craft bartenders and cocktail enthusiasts around the world. So here's how you make the last word. To make the last word, we're gonna use equal parts of all the ingredients that we're talking about. So the ratios or volumes are completely up to you. Traditionally, what we see is three quarters of an ounce of gin, followed by three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse, three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur, and finally, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. So we're gonna add all those ingredients to a shaker, add some ice, and we're gonna give it a nice good shake to kind of chill and dilute all the ingredients. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and fine strain that into a coupe or a martini glass. And traditional garnishes for this could be a lime wheel or a brandy cherry, um, whichever you would like to add. So that's how you make a last word. Cheers, everyone.